you guys are too real too real okay i was talking to god having a conversation with god you know i like to talk to god while i'm packing my skincare orders by the way i'm almost done shipping all orders out i'm almost done okay i'm packing every day okay and it's only me doing it it's only me doing it packing orders you know i'm cleaning up my car i'm having a conversation with god and he just said something y'all need to know this and y'all need to acknowledge this okay you're just too real you're too real when it came to you a lot of people played themselves they played themselves a lot of people thought they were playing you they thought they're playing mind games on you they thought they were stupid thought you were stupid but a lot of people actually played themselves when it comes to you and god gave me an example okay like literally he was talking about like his crucifixion and you know how when he rose the people the same people that crucified him when he rose they witnessed they witnessed him um they witnessed him being risen you know how everybody in the town saw that jesus ris was risen from the dead they witnessed him risen the same people that killed him they witnessed him. Do you get what I'm saying? Which they basically clarified to them that he is the son of God. Do you get what I'm saying? So it was kind of like after they played, tried to play him and tried to mock him. It was like after they did what they did, committed that sin and did what they did. It was like the revelation hit them right after, which made them realize they played themselves. Do you get what I'm saying? Because they put themselves in a position to harm the son of God and put themselves in a position to hurt someone who who really really cared for them who really had the best interest for them etc right who really loved them and it was a it was a revelation so i was talking to god about that i'm like god that's so true da, 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 da. and we're not jesus we're not all jesus and i'm not trying to compare us to jesus but he was using that analogy as when it came when it comes to a lot of us people played themselves when it comes to us it's like they thought the grass was greener on the other side this doesn't have to be just for relationship. This can be like, you know, you're noticing that you're someone is always being picked over you. Like someone, people, when people, when it comes to people making a decision about you, it's kind of like your always last decision. It's like, you know, you're on the, the volleyball team at school and the coach is picking the teams and stuff like that. And you're like the last one to be picked and you're the last one to be picked and you know, you're, you're assigned to a specific team, but the only reason why you were assigned to that team was because you were the last person. So you are not the team's first pick or first choice or whatever. And it made you feel some type of way. It made you feel some type of way. Remember that scripture that talks about the cornerstone stone being the rejected stone, and that's actually the stone that was picked? That same concept, right? <laughs> it's like God is saying people really played themselves when it, when it came to you. And they didn't even realize that they were doing that because we're in a season now where God is about to, like, I can't even express how God is elevating his children, but God is really about to elevate his children and listen to something. God wants you guys to understand something this season, okay? And I'm going to talk about this in the next video because I got a next message for y'all. But it has to do with a little bit of blessings you have now. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge what you have now. Even if it's not a lot, acknowledge what you have. Do you get what I'm saying? Because God wants you to, to be very humble this season. He wants you to be understanding this season. He wants you to have grace this season. He wants you to be happy with what you have this season because when he's about to level you up, he's trying to teach you something emotionally, mentally, and spiritually about humbleness. He doesn't want you to get to a level and be boastful, be prideful, and be like a lot of these people. He wants you to have grace and humbleness when he brings you to the top, okay? And that's for the next message. With that, all that being said, like, yeah, he was saying that people really thought the grass was greener on the other side. People may have picked people over you. They may have picked friendships, certain French friends over you. Um, there may have been a situation where someone picked someone else romantically over you. You know, you may have been the child that has a sibling where your sibling was always picked before you. When you deal with a lot of fake people and you are a real person, like you're authentic, you're honest, you have good intentions, you wish nothing but the best for everybody, you don't even like hating on people. Like you're the, probably the type of person that you have a hard time hating on people. You see someone with something nice, you're happy for them, you smile for them. Do you get what I'm saying? And you know, you don't have any ill intentions towards nobody, but when you're when you're around people who are the complete opposite, trust me, you, they're going to detach themselves from you or they're going to be removed from you one way or another.
And what may end up happening is when you end up becoming isolated and lonely, you start to think, oh my God, is it me? Is there something wrong with me? Am I the bad person? God, every time I meet someone, I'm always going all out for them. I'm always being a good friend. I'm always there for them. I'm always trying to talk to them or relationship, etc. But for some reason, I'm always the one being hurt. For some reason, I'm always the one that's isolated, left alone. I'm always the one that's being picked, you know, as second choice, third choice, fourth choice, whatever. And no one's ever really given me, you know, that same type of love that I get them no one's ever reciprocated the same type of emotions and energy that i'm giving them and god's like because you're too real you're too real fake people can't be around real people real recognize real do you get what i'm saying fake people cannot be around real when someone's not authentic and they are bitter and they have malicious motives and they're just not a good person and and they lie and they're just they're just not a good person they're gonna have a very hard time being around someone who is good because what you're doing now is you're shining a mirror on them you're like look i'm authentic i'm cool i'm a good friend to you i'm a good lover to you i love you so much i'm you know i'm trying to be as pure as possible i'm not perfect but i'm trying to be as pure as possible and i'm trying to be authentic as possible and then you have someone that's looking at you and, and seeing who they're not and it's making them feel some type of way and then they they're like i don't want nothing to do with you because you make me feel bad about myself why because every time i look at you i see the things that i need to work on that i haven't been working on i see all the things that i swept under the rug that i chose to face that i don't want to work work on i see a lot of the stuff that i'm supposed to heal that i don't want to work on i see a lot of motivation and ambition in you that i lack in myself that i'm not choosing to work on so you know what instead of me facing it i'm going to go hang around people who are fake like me hang around people who are malicious like me hang around people who gossip like me hang around people who that's why you always see a lot of fake people you know so we see a lot of uh people that are like they don't they're not really friends they really don't like each other but you always see them hanging out you always see them going to the club together going to the mall together you know eating lunch together and really and truly these people these people have no type of emotional spiritual connection at all like they literally dislike each other but they hang around each other because they have something in common what they have in common is they just need someone to be around who's like who's like them, who's not genuine like them. So it's kind of like, okay, I know you're fake. You know I'm fake. You know, I'm, you get what I'm saying? It's like you guys, it's like they can read each other and they don't care uh, if the other party's fake because they're the same way. So it's easy for them to get along. If you notice, that's why when you sometimes have a falling out with someone, like I said in yesterday's video, they'll run off and go to par with your enemy they'll go team up with your enemy be friends with your enemy and all of that because why they have something in common they're fake and the enemy's fake too they're malicious the enemy's malicious too so and you're not so you get what i'm saying so this is why most of you guys are isolated and lonely and that's fine you're too real you're not going to get along with a lot of people who are not who are not real you get what i'm saying like it's going to be hard for you to even um be on that same level it's you're not going to be on that same level a majority of the population is not there's a very few authentic people you get what i'm saying there's a very few people who have a conscience and very few people who take conviction seriously so when you do when you do chances are out of like 95 percent of the people you meet probably you're going to find like five percent that are actually real and authentic just like you right so it's very hard for you to find people like that and that's why when you see people who are elevating who are authentic who are to themselves who who have a relationship with god you notice that majority of these people who god brings who god levels up they don't have a big circle they have a small circle and if you notice a lot of them they just have mainly associates or one or two close friends. They don't have a bunch of people that they're close with. And this is why. So it's okay. You get what I'm saying? It's okay to feel lonely. It's okay to feel isolated. That's fine. You get what I'm saying? But don't always blame yourself because if you know you're a good person, you have an authentic heart, trust me, when you're around someone, they may think that they can get along with you in the beginning and they'll like you in the beginning. But if they're not authentic, eventually they're going to depart ways from you. And you may feel some type of way. Don't feel no type of way. You're just too real. And what it is, is there's a lot of people who are not like you and a lot of people are realizing now that they made a bad decision running after people who are just like them you know why because a lot of these people started making the changes they started healing they started working on themselves and as they started healing and working on themselves they start to realize the people that they're associated with or the people they may have put you on the back burner for they're realizing these people are a reflection of the old them and they're not the, they're not a reflection of the new them do you get what i'm saying so it's kind of like now when they realize okay let me find someone who is like me now because now i'm authentic now i'm honest now I'm, I'm healing they realize that it was you 
You see, like I said, back in the day, a lot of people were not on your level mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. This is why y'all didn't get along. This is why you're just on two separate paths. Like I said, now that they've done the work, they realize the grass is not greener on the other side. You get what I'm saying? Most of the times, even we've done this in the past too, We've most of the times we would make decisions based on who we are in that moment. You get, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's like, sh it's not a good example, but I'm going to use it like shopping. It's like back in the day, you probably had a specific type of taste or a style. And that was the old reflection of you, right? So you'd buy clothes that, that suit your personality. And back then, let's say your personality was not, the person you were back then was not positive. You probably were like doing a lot of stuff you weren't supposed to be doing. And the type of clothes you chose were like not good clothes. You get what I'm saying? So that was a reflection of you compared to, you matured, you know, you're healing, you're, you're, you have a lot of morals and values. And now the type, the, the way you dress today is totally different from the way you dressed back then, right? It's the same concept. So now you look back and you're like, wow, I, whoa, I can't believe I even wore this in the past kind of thing, right? So it's the same concept, similar concept with you guys. It's like people looked past you in the past, thought the grass was greener on the other side. And a lot of these people were not healed. And now it's like, they're doing the work, they're healing, they're maturing. And they're realizing like, I need someone real like me. I need someone that's healing like me. I need someone that loves hard like me. I need someone that is on that same level as me. And they can't find nobody. And now they're like, wow, I'm lonely. I can't find nobody that's like me. I'm lonely. I don't got no good friends. You know, I don't, I, I need a relationship, but I, I can't, the, the type of people that of attracting are the type of people I used to be attracted to, but I'm not attracted to them no more because, you know, they're not on my level when it comes to like my healing and my relationship with God, etc. So I got to find someone who's on that level. And it's like a lot of people are coming to their senses now. And like I said, they're realizing now that the whole time it was you. You are the person that was on that level with them. You are that perfect match. You are that perfect friend. You are that perfect relationship. You know, they're realizing it now. You are that perfect person. You are, you know, and, and it's like, yeah, a lot of people, yeah, they played themselves when it came to you, you know? Anyways, I love you guys. Bye.